You know what I'm saying? Too. Yes, I don't I know. want our kid no more. I'm sorry. I want to go out. I want to go to the club. I want to travel. I want to be able to get up at 2 a.m. and go hang with my friends if I want to. Living on Section 8, what are you here for? You a bitch. You a bitch warmer, my, my dude. You're doing no, you're going to stay right you there. You pick her up from your mother's house? Or she going to. Young living every day, giving it to you and cutting straight. Now, listen, y'all, today videos, man, is about this woman who want to give her son up to her son's father because she no longer want to be a mother no more because she want to go on the streets and get splashed on like swim time. <laughs> Let's dive into it. Everybody no, everybody need to know. So Come crazy. on now. And you a parent. You know you what I'm saying? Too. Yes, I don't I know. want our kid no more. I'm sorry. What? You don't be here. You don't be here taking care of her. You don't be going through all the stressful stuff that I, that I be going through. Sure. I want to go out. I want to go to the club. I want to travel. I want to be able to get up at 2 a.m. and go hang with my friends if I want to do it. You don't be nowhere to be found. You are incredibly selfish. Hmm. You want to travel. You want to go out with your friends at 2 a.m. in the morning. You want to travel the world. Well, you should have thought about that before you became a mother. So you rather put your personal needs before your chi your child, excuse me. Oh man, this is selfish. But let's continue. What? I'm working. What are you talking about? Doing what? And you sound real selfish like that. Saying that you sound real I'm selfish. I'm alone. You're supposed to be her father, and I'm alone. I am her father, and I am here so with her. So where do you be at? Because you might as well be a uh, absent baby daddy, and I might as well put you on child support. Oh my god! To be honest, well, where the baby at right now? With your mother. With my mother. Yeah, because you want to sit here and put but a camera. But you told me she was going to be here with you. Why would she be here with me when I don't want her? Oh hell no! Acting like she got the kid twenty four seven while he at work, whining and complaining, and then he asks her where the baby at. She say, "Is that your mother's?" Then, he said, then she say, why would the baby be with me when I don't want <sighs> Oh, man. Let's continue. Oh, my God. You sound real selfish, man. I, like, I don't even understand how we even going through this right because now. Because you don't be here. I got to sit there and bathe your child every night. I got to sit But that's here. what you're supposed to do. I got to sit here and listen to your child cry about her father not being here every night. Well, I got to put her to sleep. I got to sit here and take her to the doctor when she's sick. I got to sit here and take her in and out the store with a big ass car seat. Her car seat almost as big as me. That's heavy. You don't be nowhere. I got to take her in and out the store. I don't give a fuck. I got to sit there and get her hair done. Daycare expense. You barely help with that. You don't help with no bills in this house. We living on section eight. What are you here for? Who the fuck you think you talking to? She said, you don't pay no bills in this house. We on Section 8. What are you here for? Mm. Oh, man, before I dive in that, I'm just going to say this, man. Like I say, some of you black American ninjas have some low standards, man. <laughs> Let's continue. I don't want to do this alone. You want to on your knees, crying, begging, snapping mouth, oh, saying oh, you want to keep your kid. Yes, I want to keep it. I didn't want this kid. Okay, you waited two years. Mind. You waited two years, and now you want to give it up? She belongs to the streets. She said he was begging and crying on his knees. Now, as a man, you supposed to have your life on point, man. Get your money on point. Get your mind on point. Get your body on point. Develop them social skills. And choose a woman that's fit to be a mother. I don't know if you want to do the marriage thing or however you want to play it, but you make sure you choose a woman that's fit and got the right mindset to be a mom and understand that that comes before wants. And then on top of that, you got to be financially stable and be able to provide and protect. And then what did she tell him? I told you I didn't want to have kids. I want to go out and have fun. Translation, I want to go out here and get this Pink Panther stroke by multiple different Tyrones. I want to have a sausage hopping Olympics contest huh she want to be the sausage hopping Olympian champion of the nation she told him what time it was so i hold him accountable as well because you already knew what you was dealing with but you know what he probably thinks she attractive saw that face got inside them sweet insides and then it just skewed his whole mission <laughs> so i hold him accountable like i said because she already told him what it was <laughs> But let's continue. Oh, I wanted to, I just wanted to give it up when she was, before she even got but here. But you didn't. You didn't. Okay, because you said you was going to be here. Oh, all right. And I'm here. So why are we, why are we going through this? Why are you with me? But you're not here oh when it counts. God. 
Oh You're not God. here when it counts. Oh so God. I don't want her. So you can oh either go God. pick her up from your mother's house or she'll be at the fire station next week and You're I'll be in Miami next, somewhere. This is you crazy. Now, I don't believe it's real. She gonna be at the fire station next week while I be in Miami somewhere? Nah, this can't be real. Granted, stuff like this do happen in real life, man. Some of these American women are selfish. And then she's young. She just want to go out, like I said, and get ran through. She don't want them. She don't respect them. This obvious, man. <laughs> Let's continue. Oh, oh, in Miami. So that that's more. Yeah, that's I more live my life. I don't want no kid. You know. You wanted this kid. You said you was gonna be here. You was gonna be the father, and you was gonna take care of what you need. And that's what I'm her. doing. No, you're not. <laughs> Look, y'all see her. Y'all see this right now. You probably y'all see how she's standing your right now. Two hours a week. Really, nigga. Now listen. When she said. Always know when they say I want to live my life, it is always womanese translation for I want to go out here, talk to multiple guys, finesse dudes, get attention, validation, resources, club, VIP, free drinks, and like I said, hop on sausages. She want that Pink Panther to get stroked at a rapid rate <laughs> to her heart skip a beat. <laughs> Let's continue. I witness this right here. Oh my God! You sound so pathetic. You sound so pathetic. You sound so pathetic right father. now. You know what I mean? You you doing the thing, the essential things oh that a, a mother's supposed to. Okay, what is the father supposed to do? What Sit you mean? I go work. The the father go work, provide for the family, what are you protect providing? the family. Because uh, I pay for daycare. Hmm. Your mother picks her up when I have to go to work. Okay, it's a team, man. It's a family. It's a team effort. You if I gotta handle some business, you a bench warmer, my my dude. No. You clearly don't know who you're talking to, so let me clue you in. Called him a bench warmer. <laughs> she didn't say you're a bench warmer. She said use a bench warmer, man. That's even more disrespectful. <laughs> oh, man, listen, that's the ultimate level of disrespect. This woman has absolutely no respect for him, do not care. She is about what she wants, and that is it. Selfish by all means, man. <laughs> this is the thing. Like I say in every video, you have to be that guy or say goodbye. It don't matter what you do, how you feel, how attracted to her he is. It doesn't matter. And that's the thing. He saw that face, went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> Thought he was going to ignore all the signs. She telling you right to your face what it is and you keep on going at it like i said already i'm holding you accountable for that you cannot wife up a girl that's for the streets if she want to be a part of if she want to be in the community you got to let her roam in the community and by the senses of this both of them seem like they're very young-minded he not ready she ain't ready this is this is just all bad but i can't i'm gonna be honest with y'all like i always say about the passport this is the mindset of some of these American women. They will prioritize fun over the family. This ain't real, but this stuff really happened for real. Let's continue. Uh, you was a bench warmer. Oh my God, now I'm a bench warmer. Yes, because when your mother has to pick up our daughter, when I can't pick up your daughter, why can't we call you? Why we gotta call everybody in the family? Because I'm working late. I'm working late. And that, that's you not even- 24 hours a day? I, I, I almost I do. Be for real. And, but listen, be but that, that don't mean for you to want to give up the child. That, that That's that's you crazy. Her. I will. Okay, then. And I'm taking so you to court. To... And I'm putting you on child support. You're not putting me on child support. I was signed over all my rights right now. Believe that. Wow. Like, you, what? And, you, and you think that's cute. You are incredibly selfish. You ain't putting me on child support. I will sign over all my rights now. <laughs> wow. Mm. And this be the women that you ninjas want to impregnate. These be the women that you want to waste your resources, energy, attention, and time on. <laughs> like I said, black American ninjas, some of you black American ninjas have low standards. <laughs> mm, let's continue. I don't think it's cute, but I didn't want her. You did. So oh take care of her. God. Oh my God. That, that, like, I don't understand why I even came in this situation with you. 
Anyway. I don't either. Nobody, nobody told you to sit there and beg on your knees to have a kid with me. Oh, so I begged on my knees. Yes, you did. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I see how you're trying to play it. But you, that don't, that don't change the what fact that. What you when I was in the delivery room? Because I feel like your mother was there during the delivery room. Where were you? Which, that day I had to go put oh, so somebody. Oh, you in the delivery room, but you want to say I look crazy. But I came, I came after the fact. I Hold up, though. Now, I'm a fair guy. This is your child. You sitting here talking all this stuff about you. Want the child and how she a selfish parent, which I agree she is, but you're not even showing up in the delivery room. She looking like she a selfish female, but at the same time, you ain't even there like that. You ain't even showing up in the delivery room. You talking about some uh, up doing, uh, I had to go do something. What? Your child being born, you supposedly love this child so much. Why wasn't you there? I'm just saying, y'all. The girl don't respect him. She don't want to be with him. It's just what it is. No man, like I said already, should be begging a woman to have a kid. Why are you begging a woman to have a kid? Typically, it's the women who want to have kids. Why are you as a man begging? This is a lack of self-awareness. You don't know your true value as a guy. You ain't built yourself up. You hear men chasing women. This dude is bagging women. Hypothetically speaking, says true. He was bagging a woman to have a kid? It's a little bit left, y'all. Let's continue. I'm not about to keep doing this. No, no, hold on. So no, you're going to stay. Doing this. No, you're you going to stay right you there. You pick her up from your mother's house or she's going to the fire station come next week and all her stuff will be packed and she will be sitting out there looking crazy. Damn. You come get her or she, I would pack her stuff, take her to the fire station and she'll be sitting out there looking crazy. You going to drop your own child off in front of the fire station if he didn't show up? what it is man they want to do what they want to do and another thing too man say we being all the way honest i ain't even touched this like i always say he need to get a dna test on that baby because this girl for the streets she is too eager to go to the streets you need to make sure that that's your kid you need to ensure that that's your kid like i say swipe <laughs> i'm gonna always know <laughs> i don't care how you feel feels and reels are two different things you need to know what's going on he need to do a DNA test, swipe that baby mouth, and make sure that that's his child. Because it might be a Tyrone or a Pookie and Ray Ray out there who is really the biological father, the way this girl is moving. She talking about going to Miami, getting loose. <laughs> man. But goodness, man. Listen, I'm just going to close this up before I get out of here, y'all. Don't be out here bagging these girls that had no babies. Don't be out here bagging these girls for no sexual encounters. Don't be out here chasing these girls, giving them free attention and validation. Do not be emotional tampon. They will use you as emotional tampon if you don't know no better. Translate that womanese. I'm telling you, man. And if she tell you, you better believe her. I don't want to have kids. I'm not ready. Don't try to convince them. Let them do what they going to do. Let them burn through their youth, their knees collapse, and they ain't got the same amount of options. Let them go out and do what they're going to do, man. Continue to focus on you, your life. Level up. Get your money on point. Get your mind, your body. Develop them social skills. And like I say, man, you know, get you a passport. Travel to a destination of your, excuse me, travel to a destination of your liking. Because when you see it, you can't unsee it. So I got to say, like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend, then tell a friend, then tell another friend. Listen. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out. Yeah, got the streets on fire, feel the heat, the way, way. Ain't never had no handouts, put in work, I'm self made. Superhero strength, I got the power, Luke Cage. Flexing on them haters like Drake. This is real rap, no cap.